Hello and welcome. My name is Charlambos. I go by Bob. I'm not your typical painter. Today I'm going to talk about mixing color. Yes, it's going to be a little change from the normal videos I do, but you need color in order to make a painting, obviously. Um, but a lot of people don't realize that colors have a lot of variation. A red's not just a red, a blue's not just a blue, and a yellow's not just a yellow. There's lots of variations between those colors. There's warm reds, cool reds, light reds, dark reds. And then there's also the same thing with like the blues and the yellows, lights, light versions, darker versions, cooler temperature, warm temperature. And you need to be able to master all of that in order to get a really nice painting in the end. The variation of colors will pretty much impact your painting. It will draw attention to certain areas and certain areas will be more vibrant. It's also very important for strategic planning, especially when um, you're trying to uh, get the viewer's attention to certain areas of your painting, maybe kind of like form a, a path. Anyway, today I'm going to film the process of me mixing paint. And you'll see how I start from like a clean palette to a lot of different variations in the end. My painting usually begins with me bringing out my paint. It's actually stored in the freezer in this container right here. This is actually the middle stages of a painting, not the beginning. So I already, as you can see, mixed a lot of colors and these colors uh, in order so they don't go to waste I pretty much store them in this container that kind of locks air tight and to even save them even more I put them in the freezer you'd be surprised how long paints last that way I mean they still slowly dry but it's a lot slower than leaving them out as you can see I have my brushes ready and now I am going to start to paint I already selected the area of my canvas I'm going to start and I shall begin. I didn't want to bore you guys by showing the whole process so I pretty much filmed myself mixing the paint and then editing the footage to cut out the parts where I'm not mixing and sped up the process so you get to see how I go from just a few basic mixtures and primary colors white and darks to pretty much the end result which will end up being multiple variations because in the end every color has its own identity in my opinion and there's sometimes similar looking colors but in the end one might be just a tad darker or a tad lighter and so on and you have to strive to get in those variations to make the painting more appealing. One thing I want to point out is I use multiple brushes while I paint. I have my paint brushes on my left hand and I paint with my right. And sometimes like a barbarian I hold a paintbrush or two in my mouth which is um, something I don't recommend because of heavy metals and cadmium and cobalt and so on. In the end, all the color I mixed ended up here. This is the before and this is the after. Thank you for watching. Again, my name is Charlimbos. I go by Bob. I am not your typical painter.